Yes. Hi, Richard. Thanks for helping my project. Oh, you're welcome. Could you say a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Richard Cumberland. I'm 71 years old. Been living in Houston for about 40 years now. Born in South Texas. Oh, and where? I'm in uh, Kingsville. Kingsville, okay. So I know I'm familiar with Brownsville. So, and I'm the CFO for a small oil and gas company. So that's awesome. So, um, well, I guess did you know that NASA's plans to astronauts back to the moon? Yes, definitely. Um, how'd you find out about it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm sure <laughs> news. Uh, you know, I follow NASA's pretty closely on the news and stuff. So. When I randomly interview people, even next to the Dawson Space Center, most people don't know. That's hard to believe. <laughs> really hard to believe. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Um, what do you think about NASA going back to the moon? Oh, I'm excited about it. Really, really want to see it again. So we need to do more space exploration, develop out there, and you know, expand our horizons. Just keep moving it. And uh, with the first time that we went to the moon, I guess you were in your 20s? Uh, no, I was like in my, when did they go? Uh, I was born in 52. Oh, 1962. Uh, 1969. 69, so I was uh, yeah. 17. 17. Yeah, I was in okay. high school. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then the last time was 1972, which is 50 years ago. Yeah, That's what I was thinking. yeah. yeah. Um, I don't remember it well. Um, what was it like? Oh, well, of course we had one TV and we all gathered around it and watching it. It was black and white and we were all getting emotional along with, <clears throat> along with Walter and it was very cool. Just, I then said a prayer that they'd make it back. <laughs> you know? In 1972, the last trip to the moon, yeah. did you know at the time that that was gonna be the last trip? I don't know if I did or not. I knew that it was, I mean, I, I followed it pretty close. At that time, I probably knew what the schedule was. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't know if it was the last trip or the last scheduled trip, I don't know, remember. But, when you think about the future of humanity 200 years out, what does it look mm -hmm. like to you? I think our ex we will be on Mars at a minimum, um, certainly on the moon. And other than that, I don't know. I think there's a lot of uh, physics involved in getting out there further than Mars. So um, right. it would be cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just like 200 years ago, having this device in my oh. hand would have been unimaginable. I mean, we had- 50 years ago, you couldn't. <laughs> I, I said, know. we all gathered around a little black and white TV like that. <laughs> well, yeah. no, 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 unimaginable. I, I, you know, I, I remember in college, I was like the first kid that bought a, a, a handheld calculator. I mean, it had a little LED display and four functions, but you know, I had it. I was the first one to buy one. Wow. So, um, if you could, would you take a trip to space? Oh yeah, absolutely. How far would you go to the moon? Would you immigrate to Mars? Um, no, I would love to get to Mars. Stop over at the moon for a while, but you know, no, I'd love to do that. So, circle around Venus while we're at it, you know? <laughs> yeah, do one of those uh, gravity assists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's it, you know, why not? I, I think you'll, I, I think you well, I, I think the 2020s are the space for the 1990s were to the internet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in 1990, nobody had email, nobody had no, websites. No, and then by 2000, no. it was like expected. Every, everybody had it. Yeah. 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 It went from zero to hundred miles per hour on that real fast. But the email did anyway, for sure. And I feel like Starship is like the Mozilla browser. <laughs> of the you know, it's like the the like the applicant, you know, the thing that yes, yes. <laughs> transforms it. Yes, yeah. I'm still watching the dog, so <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, Richard, yeah. um, is there anything you'd like to add? No, no. Good luck with your project, and good luck to all of us getting to space. And you know, may God be with us on the travels. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you.